Oh god, there goes the feeder rod too! <gasps> oh, this is gonna be heck. This is gonna be heck to pay. Heck to pay! <gasps> no way! Oh my god, we got him! Well, how's it going everyone? Bo here from BZ Up. I know a lot of people are looking forward to the next episode of our free-to-play beginner series here in Fishing Planet. And today, I thought I'd mix it up. I know I have a bad past. It's like a bad ex-wife or an ex-girlfriend or something like that, depending on what age you are. Um, Falcon Lake has never worked out for me in the past. I go there, I catch fish, it's never as good as I want it to be, and then I leave uh, upset about it and I just go back to bass fishing or uh, walleye or something like that but we are going back to Falcon Lake chase down some trout um, I don't think I'll be fishing at this time uh, it looks like we might have some good luck in the morning and in the evening but the second day has this nice big bell curve right here and I think we're gonna go and fish that day and you best believe after the intro I'm gonna show you my rods and reels and baits and lures that we're gonna be using here so hit that like button pack your tackle boxes and Let's get into it, everyone. All right, hey, here we are, Falcon Lake. It's a beautiful lake, don't get me wrong. I, I am confident that we'll find some fish. I'm not confident that we'll find a ton of fish, but I'm hoping to be proven wrong birds flying it's a beautiful day out in Falcon Lake um first off I'll go ahead show you the rods and reels that we're gonna be using this time around I already did switch it to the next day spent $900 switching to the next day but hopefully that means we get right on to those fish there let's go ahead move this camera over here that way you can see everything I'm using I have in our number one slot the value spin six foot three now we recommended this rod and reel in another video um the fish are a little bit bigger here seven seven and a half pounds um, pretty decent sized fish so if we do get into one of those it'll be quite a battle but I'm sure we'll get it in with this setup um, this is a setup that we could have used for the really big smallmouth bass in the heron which would be around that seven and a half range um, so I think I'm, I'm fairly confident that we'll be okay with it if we do land into one of those but if we don't then that will make sure that we get max XP for those fish that we're catching. Now, for our second rod, we have the Creek Pro 9'10 and the Inspirecast 3000 on here as well. This is the same rod and reel that we've been using for the walleye, um, and I'm confident it'll work here as well. We got eight pound line on here, and with this setup, even if we got into a seven and a half pounder, I'm, I'm fairly confident, once again, that we'll be able to reel it in, no trouble at all. Um, might get a little bit of a fight, but uh, I don't think it'll be that bad. And then the third rod, we have an OmniFloat 14 foot 10. Now this is a brand new reel. I specifically bought it for this map. Um, and I don't know if I'll use it much more afterwards because it is lightweight. I specifically bought it lightweight to go after some of those fish and get max XP because we're at level 28 right now and we're trying to get to level 30. Didn't want to spend a lot of money on some mid-tier rod and reel that I'm not even going to use after St. Croix. Um, and so bought it hoping that we can get a lot of XP per trout and uh, and level up and get to level 30 and that's what this whole uh, attempt at Falcon Lake is about to find out if we're gonna make a lot of XP and a lot of money per trout more than we would be getting at walleye or uh, bass at the Everglades that's what we're testing everyone it's a it's a big one it's a big one. so uh, first off well no first off second off here we're gonna be looking at the bait we got artificial salmon eggs natural eggs small minnows grasshoppers and mayflies now I will say I am trying to go for the larger trout species I'm not worried about I'm not interested in the small ones we've got one uh, one hooks one out two out and three out hooks um, bigger hooks for bigger fish and that's what I'm interested in so we'll see if we can uh, get into some as far as lures go we have a range I've got nano spoons narrow spoons spinners uh, and more another narrow spoon but the whole point is is I'm gonna be trying different ones um, they all had to be uh, six ounce or higher which made it a little hard because I couldn't use any of the nano spoons with this particular uh, spinning reel that I have um, but I'm I'm pretty 
I'm pretty confident we'll get into something. Uh, it might not be as many fish, but the fish that we do catch will be larger, and that's what I'm interested in. But additionally, we do have some soft baits with us. We got grubs, we got a twin tail spider grub, which we were using somewhere, I think in the Everglades for the saltwater stuff, as well as the bass and the heron. And then we got shads as well. And then I've got a range as well, one aught, two aught, and three aught uh, barbels jig heads here. Um, they were all like one bait coin. The, the, three, the three aught was two bait coins, really, for a barbel hook i don't think that's you know that bad of an investment so go ahead and do it if you're interested in it but the whole point is i've got a lot of tackle a lot of bait to try out to try and make sure we get into uh, a lot of fish here i'm gonna try everything that way you watching know exactly what to uh come here with we'll trust we'll test some things out and uh hopefully we get into uh a lure and some bait that are are really working and then that'll help you out when you go here there is some splashing right here i'm not sure if uh this is where we'll find some of our first fish but we are using the two aught uh jig head and the uh two inch shad hopefully i can do uh either a twitch or stop and go and get into something here we'll do two speed to get that get that nice twitch Ooh, got hit by something there that might mean that our hook size is too big. There are fish that are interested in it, but they're not able to fit it in their mouth. But there we go. We did get into something. Maybe an Oregon red band here. It is running. And that is one reason why I went with the Inspirecast 3, Aspire Slim 2500, uh, 6.4 pound um, on one of my uh, rods because it has a high. Um, recovery it's got it takes in a lot of line per spin and a lot of people forget about that and it actually becomes a really big thing when you're fishing for trout and when you're fishing for salmon who like to run a lot and they come straight towards you at some point and you need to get all that line in if you don't get in all of that line you're gonna lose all that tension and you're gonna lose the fish unfortunately hoping here we get him in no trouble there we go and oh it's our first rainbow top notch well, there you go. Personal record rainbow trout, probably because I never went to Rocky Lake. Man, that was quite a fight for a two and a half pound fish. <laughs> 68 XP, meh, not, not fantastic, but it is two pounds, 180 bucks. Not a bad ratio for free to play. We'll uh, throw him in the keep sack and uh, keep on fishing, everybody. Ooh, this isn't looking good. Didn't even have any enters this second time around. I like to call it uh, a one hit wonder sometimes. You'll throw a lure out, throw a bait out, and it'll immediately get taken in like the first two minutes or something like that that you're using it. And then you'll have no interest in it whatsoever afterwards. And uh, those lures and baits are called one hit wonders. <laughs> Sometimes, Fishing Planet, I, I don't know if, how they programmed it, but they must think it's funny to like make you feel like something is gonna work. We might have had a one hit wonder with this shad. But I'll tell you one thing that I have completely forgotten about, and that is that we don't have our other rods out. Let's throw this out. There is a little bit of a current here in this little uh, this little part of the lake where it seems to be flowing uh, that way. But hopefully, let's toss this guy. I got mayflies and a one out hook on this one. Hopefully that'll work. And then we've got the uh, natural eggs with two watt barbless hook on this guy. Our new float rod, fairly deep. Um, ooh, it's already taken. Already taken, everybody. I can't even, I don't even have a chance. Don't even have a chance. Don't even have a chance. Now, I do have these rods and reels hooked up with Max Drag. If you don't know what Max Drag is, make sure you check out the video. It is a very important concept in Fishing Planet. These trout are putting up a fight, man. Putting up a fight. I have a feeling we're going to get this in. It's going to be less than four pounds. My feelings about using lightweight tackle starting to make me wonder if that was the best idea <laughs> but one good thing about fishing plan is that we can follow the fish there's not a lot of room for it to go in this uh narrow little river i think we got him on his last leg though i don't even know what we got my uh, trout identification's not fantastic didn't really grow up with trout so don't give me a heart oh no the float's going now the float is going everybody what do we got cutthroat or a rainbow Look at that, a rainbow! A little bit bigger that time. Not big though, not fantastic. Pick up our new Omni Float. Now we should be able to 
Just go straight to max drag there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Bob. This might be the rainbow spot. Who knows? Oh, trophy collector. <gasps> Let's go. Our first uh, 3.55 pound trophy rainbow, everybody. 138 XP. I don't know if that's fantastic or not. I was actually looking back at my last trip at Emerald and one day, even though I missed one time I could have fished, I did catch 2,947 XP and $6,997. Uh, of walleye at emerald and even if I don't catch six thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars worth of fish here That XP is the biggest thing to me right now if I can beat that XP in one day I will be a happy camper because uh, yeah That's what it's all about at this point got to level up to get to st. Croix and uh, Money's great. Don't get me wrong. We got to have enough money to get to st. Croix, but need to get to level 30 before we even worry about that. I can make money after level 30. It just takes a long time to get to there at some points. Are going to go ahead and put that two odd hook on the feeder rod. It worked with the float anyway, so hopefully throw out this feeder rod and it'll be the same way, man. Same way. I do know there are some fish here that are uniques. You take a look at the uh, fish species here. Um, trophy brown, trophy cutthroat. Unique red band trout there, so that's going to be one that can get up to a unique rainbow trout. Unique as well. Fairly large fish, um, you know, getting up to a unique rainbow wouldn't be too bad. I'm sure they got pretty good XP, and I, I'm sure that we could catch them on a three-out hook. But using a three-out hook might just cancel out a lot of the other fish that we could be catching. So we might stick to a two-out hook as long as we can, and then if we get bored, maybe we'll switch to a three-out and try that again. Oh, I was just about to throw the nano spoon, and then we got this taken. Got this taken. I'm using natural eggs on this guy. I was spreading it out a little bit. We do have a lot of baits we can try. This guy looks small, small, small. Come in, you. Get in here. He's got a real dark red on the side. I thought so. I thought so. Saw that red on the side real bright. You think, oh, that's an Oregon red band. And honestly, for 1.3 pounds, 110 XP, Oregon red band is my best friend right now. <laughs> that's incredible. That's pretty awesome. Oh, as far as XP to weight goes, man, oh my, and look at that. That is near one, that's one pound to one dollar ratio. That's an that's amazing for a free to play fish. That's awesome. Well, top notch. We'll throw that in there. Keep on fishing, everybody. Keep on fishing. Tight lines. Yep. Okay. All right. That's cool. I didn't want to use this lure at all. Another Oregon red band. I'm I'm telling you, dude. These Oregon red bands are just my best friend right now. I cannot. <laughs> we are leveling up pretty quick right now from these Oregon red bands. Oh my god, that's awesome. Ooh, big take. Big take. Though it might not be big fish. <laughs> Boy, it slammed it though. It was nothing going on and then boom, fish is on. Every time I see that real dark red on the side, I just get super excited, but I think we have something else. Yeah, it's our first cutthroat. Well, top notch. Not mad about that either. 1.6 pounds, but 120 bucks. 37 XP. That shows you the big difference between the Oregon Red Bands and all the other trout species, man. That is insane. The XP difference. It can add some line, but it doesn't look like a super monstrous fish. You know, we have been getting no interest on the float rod ever since we threw it back out there. Two fish on the feeder rod so far though. Ooh, man, oh my. Yeah, it's a, uh, I had to say, it's it's fairly important to have good recovery on your reels before you come to Falcon Lake. I'm curious what this one is. I feel like it's maybe a little low. Oh, there goes the float rod though. <gasps> oh God, we're gonna be juggling. This is actually pulling it straight in and I'm kind of curious if it's another red band. There we go. 90 XP guys, come on. That is a fantastic. For a tiny little fish, but it's gonna give us a fraction of that XP most likely. I'm telling, I'm not, I'm not sure. You know, eh, you all have that moment. Meet up with your ex-girlfriend for coffee or something like that, and you think, you know, maybe things will change. Give her a chance again or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Is it that point with Falcon Lake? Oh, <laughs> I. I don't know yet. All right, you fish. What do we got here? Trophy collector, trophy cutthroat trout right on. 118 XP, 232 bucks. 
That ratio is a little bit wobbly there as we get to three pounds. We lost out on 70 bucks, but we are very close to leveling up right now. 118 XP. I'll take it. I'll take it all day, buddy. And remember, we're still fishing in one spot. We haven't even moved on to another spot yet. Don't mind if I do. At this point, I'm just thinking, you know, what if I did get into a unique red band? Whoa, trophy cutthroat again. Hundred and so oh, we're so close to leveling up. Come on, fish. Go for the straight slow. And there goes the float rod again. We can't even get the lure in in time because the float rod keeps going off. It's not a bad thing, I'm just saying. <laughs> What's insane about that is that, you know, I had been told, yes, you need to use a long, you know, when you when you put the bobber on, give yourself a lot of space, 72 inches or whatever it may be. Um, I think that's what I'm using right now. I thought, well, if we're going so deep, why don't we just use a feeder rod? Because that would just put it down on the bottom. I don't know how deep it is here, but uh, it seems easier to just use a feeder rod and get the bait down on the bottom versus using a float rod and then putting the bait down on the bottom, <laughs> you know? It seems counterintuitive. I keep saying float rod because I'm using a float. Really, this is a match rod. Ugh, another rainbow. I'll take it, and we leveled up. Let's see this. Golden pack! Way to hit me with an advertisement. You lead them up. You lead it up. So it'll be, oh yeah, we leveled up, but no. Then they hit you with an advert. Right on. Well, there's our counselor, uh, 3000P, one of my favorite reels. Uh, we got some crankbaits, got a new vest, got some new line, crawfish, crayfish, whatever. Got some worms, grubs, and a new titanium leader, top notch. It's top notch. Okay, we've been doing pretty great here. I think it's time to move on. I've already been recording for 25 minutes, <laughs> but I feel like we should try another spot out. Alrighty, if we take a look at the map here, you can see where we are. There is a deep section right around here. And I do believe we can cast out into that deeper section. I'm looking around to see where there's fish. And there is some fish right there that are moving. There's some fish over there by those rocks that are moving. And if you need to, don't feel embarrassed. Go ahead. Go down to your map here. Uh, and put, uh, put a marker right on the edge. You know? That way you know. Okay. So. <laughs> that was the marker. That way you can line up your cast. We already got one on. That was lucky. I already got one on, on the artificial salmon eggs. Young rainbow, a young rainbow. We're gonna toss it beyond this marker and just draw a little invisible line all the way around there. We're just gonna toss him out here. Grab this baby, throw it out there as well. Ooh, I switched it up to a, a grub because I wanted to see if that would help, but the feeder rod is off. Races again. Doesn't seem like a very big fish, though. What if we keep catching these small ones? I'm gonna take that as a sign that we are in the wrong spot. <laughs> Ooh, my goodness gracious. We hit that like a freaking truck. Okay, I think we might have our first brown on. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. There we go. Got him in. A 4.182 pound brown trout. I'll take him. 124 XP. Not a monster by any means. 300, nearly 300 bucks. So not a fantastic ratio either. But I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful fish and the float rod's going off. Got you now, got you now. A little 2.6 pound rainbow. Golly, man. A little twitch with this grub is working. You're going wild. It's a red band. Oh my god, I thought for a moment could be a possibility. We got an uni. <laughs> but no. Trophy Oregon Red Band Trout. Two pounds? That's still 220 XP, boys. Oh, that is awesome. Let's just go ahead and move over to the Waterfall Cascade. I know this is one spot that a lot of people like to fish at. It's beautiful. Got the waterfall. And uh, hopefully we find a spot. Oh, and right there. That's our money spot. It's our new money spot right there. Look at this. Can't go any further. We gotta go right here. Good deal. We got our bobber. We got our sinker rod. Hopefully in a good spot. Now we wait. Okay. All right. Oh, and there goes the feeder rod. <laughs> oh, they're both going. Get you in here, buddy. A little rainbow or a cutty. A little cutthroat. All right. I see you. Come on. Grab the rod. So you can get up on these rocks. Uh, we just kind of have to hit them at a perfect angle. As a lot of the different sides of the rock won't let you on them. But uh, 
Yeah, if you hit it just right, you'll be able to get up on these rocks. It gives you a little bit of an elevated view. Could be nice when you're uh, reeling in lures and stuff like that. Come on, man. Come on, man. Little cutty. Little cutty. That'll work, though. All right. And you now. Everyone's fighting for my attention. My goodness gracious. You know, that looked pretty red, too. But I might just be looking at the underside of the cutthroat. That the, yep, another one. Under two pounds. You know, as I'm sitting here looking around, maybe it's the carp angler in me or something like that, but as I'm waiting for the bites to, you know, to take off or something like that, I'm constantly surveying, and this map is perfect for that because the trout literally jump out of the water. They even, like, tell you what size of trout. They <laughs> ramped off there. What size of trout are or they're what, what species, I guess, is what I meant to say. God, small, 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 man. I don't know, I'm starting to think 2 op might just be the perfect hook size. Is this a red band? No, it's not. Oh, I got so excited for a second. It's just small fish after small fish. I feel like I need to try one more spot. We haven't tried that far bank over there, and as, like, as I was saying, um, I was seeing fish jumping um, all over uh, right out. Oh, see, you just saw one jump right there. They were jumping all out here somewhere, if I have that right. And I did see one jump, like, right over there, close to the rock face, so that might be somewhere else that we can try. I'm gonna throw this one out, and then we'll get our feeder rod out. Oh, yeah, look at that big splash right there! There's definitely some fish in here. Okay, I like this. Let's just toss this grub out, see if anything goes for the grub. We got options, we got options. Oh, soft hook set, and it worked! Bad boys, alright, hooked up. Oh no, oh no. God. That guy's taking us out to 140, holy crap! Now this dude's taking us out quite a ways. At 90 right now. Let's pick up this again, little bit of juggle land. Oh god, fishing planet, come on man. Yep, running. The fish is running right now. Oh god, there goes the feeder rod too! <gasps> oh, this is gonna be heck. This is gonna be heck to pay. Heck to pay! Okay, that's brown. Got him in the 40s. Hopefully he's gonna stay there. Yeah, we're picking up the feeder rod now. Get some attention on that one. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> this is insanity. <laughs> oh, we're picking up this guy. I was hoping I might be able to get him in soon. That's a red band too. <gasps> that's a red band. I'm sticking with this guy. I know that brown's cool, but a big red band would be the best. <gasps> no way! Oh my god, we got him! Let's go! The unique red band, bro! Oh, killing it! Killing it! 398 bucks, 418 XP! I guess, I know we got two other fish on, but I'm so excited about this fish right here. Alright, beautiful he -nail. Keep him. 418 XP is fantastic, bro. Alright, after all that, still got him on. Picking up the feeder rod now. Making sure we're giving that one attention. Picking up this one now. In the 30s, in the 30s, 20s now, bro! Oh no, I forgot to mark the location of the red band before we caught him, but that's 120 XP there. Oh, we're gonna get him! We're gonna get him! Another br no, it's a smallmouth! What in the world? <laughs> well, there's our smallmouth bass. Oh god. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay, everyone. Well, that was insanity. Got our unique red band. Forgot to mark it on the map. Gosh darn it. At least we know it was right here in this little area right here. That's awesome. Um, got a uh, small mouth on a grasshopper on the feeder rod, and we also got a brown trout, which is fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna keep at it right now. I'm gonna keep going fishing. Uh, about to end the day here, and then I think I'll go into the evening and fish a little bit. See if I can catch some trout there, um, but I will say, by the end of that, I'm hoping to uh, hit that record button again, show all of you exactly how much money and XP we made in one day at Falcon Lake. That way we can compare it to my live stream Emerald Lake one day, even though I missed out on a section of that. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be worth it just to see what the difference is. So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep fishing. And uh, by the end of that, we'll show you what we got. Man, I tell you what. I have been fishing in the height of the uh, night, I guess. Don't mean to be rhyming there. But they are not interested in the bait whatsoever. Um, so that is a huge thing. But I don't have any nighttime lures either. 
So I might be able to catch them on a nighttime lure. I just don't have them with me. Uh, but I don't have any bait that they seem to like at nighttime. That or they just don't seem to go for bait. I've tried it in two different locations so far. Um, I can see the fish moving um, at nighttime. So you'd think they would be interested, but they are just not going for it. So we're just gonna uh, go ahead and uh, change the time here. Gonna cost us 900 bucks to move on to the next day, but we've got 2,684 XP, 5,537 dollars. I don't know, everybody. It is very close in terms of XP, and honestly, I mean, it's it's about a thousand four hundred off money-wise. But I have I have an inkling that if you actually knew what you were doing at Falcon Lake and you weren't just trying different things out and trying different locations out. Here's the thing, we never changed the time. Um, other than the very end when we skipped to nighttime and that was only one time. Usually, you know, the bite shuts off, you have to move to another time, then you have to move again to nighttime or something like that. Not here, we had so many different locations to fish for trout, we just kept moving and by the, you know, and before we knew it, it was uh it was time to uh to move on to the next day basically so very interesting i think it has the possibility to be better than emerald lake um if you had the right setup if you knew what you were doing out here i would be very interested to see money wise if you would make more money but it seems like you'd make more xp fishing for the right fish here than at emerald lake so I guess it kind of just goes down to what you're uh, you going for, I guess. If you want to get more XP, it might be the case that you come here to Falcon Lake. If you're interested in making a lot of money, maybe Emerald Lake's a better way to go. I think Emerald Lake is cheaper to go to as well. So it might be the better choice to stick with Emerald Lake for making more money, but making XP might be the case that you come to Falcon Lake. So anyway, I'm eager to see what you all think. Comment down below if you fish Falcon Lake a lot, uh, what you think if you're interested in trying out Falcon Lake, I'd love to hear it down below. But if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more content in the future if you had not already subscribed, everybody. Really excited. We are three quarters of a way away from level 30, which will send us to St. Croix. And I know a lot of you are excited for St. Croix. So, uh, yeah, I I'm excited to go there as well. So take care. We'll see you next episode. If you want to check out our live streams every Monday, Wednesday, make sure you do so 7 30 to 9 30 p.m central we're going to be playing some uh call of the wild the angler on monday and fishing planet on wednesday is the plan at the moment so uh make sure if you're interested in those games you check us out when we're uh doing our live stream so take care everyone we'll see you next time and as always remember everyone we're one planet one family game on